गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग चिल्ड्रेन Yes, uh, congratulations, uh, Shrestha Hari and uh, uh, Sri Ram Hari Hari Kartik joined. Hari, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, why less score Hari in math? I think you are good at math, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Anyway, the, you are not. Uh, like and there questions. Okay. can we discuss or else can we move directly the park children anywhere any difficulties you have in this uh, questions please let me know your uh, difficulties so that we'll discuss those so, yeah i'm in question number 12 the option is yeah. Oh, question number 12, action is wrong. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Simplify the following. Okay, let me check, ma'am. Uh, 0 0.25 means 1 by 4, 1 by 4 F minus 0 0.75 here, 0 0.5 F. So half of F is equal to 0 0.75 minus uh, 0 0.45. So yeah, well, how you will get children? Let me check. Zero point. That's why you are getting less, ma. Or else, what is the option? Correct option here, ma'am. B, ma'am. Zero point. What six. is that? Zero point six, ma'am. Zero point. F option is correct here. Oh, ma'am, it is showing oh. B. Oh, it's uh, showing if I corrected this, you may get your uh, full score. Okay, I'll edit that part today. Okay, I'll edit and edit the correction so that uh, who are scored that uh, 55 may get uh, 100 more. Right. One minute, children, just to give me. Okay, ma'am. Uh, right, children, uh, coming to the next. Okay, that's okay. Okay, children, I'll change that question. Ah, huh? uh, yes, right, children. Any other doubts? Any other doubts you have? That's all what right. Can you do um, ninth one, ma'am. Ninth one, okay. Just cross multiplication, beta. Cross multiplication. Okay, let me do. Ah, okay, okay, we'll do that. Find the value of y in the equation instead of x. Y is given. Okay, let me. Okay. Two minus three y. Two minus three y. Just a minute. 
One minute to limp on it, so. Yeah. Sorry, children, there is an interruption between a pen is uh, not connecting. So 2 minus 3 by plus 4 by 2 minus 3 by plus 4 by uh, divided by denominated what you have 9 minus 8 by plus 7. 9 minus 8 by plus 7 bracket is nothing but 4 by 5. First, you have to uh, make little simplification. Then you can do cross multiplication. Children. So 2 minus 3 by. Just remove the brackets and make like fractions together. Uh, plus 4 by. Denominator negative sign please send inside. So it 8 minus 9 minus 8 by minus 7. Ma'am, can we go to back uh, once question, ah. ma'am? Question? Yes, ma'am. It is 9y, man. 9y minus 8y. Sorry, okay. Okay, fine. 9y minus 8y. Huh. Now, here these two are like terms. Here these two are like terms. We can uh, combine children. That becomes a minus 3 plus 4. What is the value of minus 3 plus 4? What is the value One. of minus y. 3 plus 4? 1. So, which y? y, which y? Plus y, right? Plus y. Right. 2 minus plus y divided by here y, 9 minus 8 is y minus 7 is equal to 4 by 5. Simple cross multiplication. So then 5 bracket 2 plus y is equal to 4 bracket y minus 7. Now you expand uh, the outside number should be uh, for both the numbers inside the bracket. So 5 twos are 10. So 5y is equal to 4y minus 4 sevens are 28. Now make as a like uh, variables left side. So 5y minus 4y is equal to minus 28 minus 10. Y is equal to minus 38 is the answer. Okay, ma'am. Uh, that's all, Harish. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Right, right. Any other, ma? Any other? No, ma'am. Can we start our uh, next part of the questions? Uh, no, we are in third chapter, right? Shall we move to the next? Yes, ma'am. We are uh, discussed about three basic points, uh, uh, three formulas in uh, uh, chapter number three, children. What are the three formulas? Uh, any one of you, Shrestha, please. Uh, Give all three takeaway points so that day we discussed about convex polygons. These are all about convex polygons. Yes. What are the points we discussed? Yes, first one. Ma, can I say? Harikarthi, please, ma. And the first one uh, is of. Uh... All the exterior angles are 360 degrees. Very and good. Sum of some exterior of angles. Yeah, exterior angles in a polygon is 360. Very good. Number Next of point. Diagonals. Better. Yeah, angles number of is diagonals. that. Sum of exterior angles in convex polygon. Yeah. It's all about convex polygons, children. Ma and number uh, of diagonals are in a convex polygon. Ah, yeah, number of diagonals under convex polygon. And, and I'm sum of n into n minus 3 by 2. n into n minus 3 by 2. 2. Very good. n minus 3 is in bracket. Hmm. What and about then, n? And then we have interior angles. Sum of interior angles is 
ंगलोलाइट प्रॉपर्टीज that's more important children properties of quadrilaterals this chapter is very very important it's directly connected to your class 10 to children class 10th because based on properties you have multiple Uh, did we discuss exercises, uh, children? Not it. Did we discuss exercises or not? Ma'am, we did only first and second one, ma'am. First one, only first one we did. We second. did not start first. anything, right? Ah, uh, right, right. Okay. What about exercise three point one? We did not do that also. Ma'am, we did, ma'am. Means okay. we need to start from second uh, second one from second bit on so okay okay good evening ma'am just a minute just a minute there is an interruption in the class i'll close the door and come back All right, children. Coming to the part of uh, exercise three. Ah, huh? yeah, Harish. I'm Harish Ashwat. Yeah, Ashwat. Why you did not write the test Sunday test? Ma'am, I went uh, like outside, ma'am. No, I, Ashwat. Don't any half half an hour or one hour. You have to spend for your test, Ani. Ashwat, or else you give written explanation to me, ma'am. This is ah, the way yeah. I did not. Please. I was traveling, ma'am. Well, I'll I'll send message. Ma'am, please do it. Or else there is an worksheet which you you can please for, complete. For, uh, for three days or so, I missed the class, ma'am. So if uh, you can tell me, uh, can you tell uh, uh, what where where to refer to the points? Yeah, you please go through the recording sessions, Rita. Uh, please go through the sessions and uh, and do the test part also the questions uh, given 15 questions are given please uh, do practice on the linear equations so that uh, we are not going uh, any application part uh, definitely we'll uh, discuss even application part once uh, once uh, i thought i should complete first five chapters then we will go with the competency based questions too Like I am boy and our material, there are uh, multiple examples, children. Please go through our topper. Uh, I, do you have topper subscription, children? Everyone? Yes, ma'am. Each and every chapter, even today, I just record uh, slowly. More than two hundred, three hundred questions is there, children. Each and every chapter, you can please go through that. Uh, whenever you are free time, so you please uh, take as a challenge and try to do it. Okay. All right. Next, uh, for coming to the question number two, find the measures of each exterior angle of a regular polygon. Just to be discussed. What is each ex exterior angle formula, children? Three sixty by n. N is nine. Three sixty by nine is. 
40. Yes, 40 degrees. So coming to the second bit, 15 sides, 360 divided by 15. Three sixty divided by fifteen. Twenty-four. Three sixty divided by fifteen. Man, twenty-four man. Four four times. Uh, four fifteen two is thirty. Yeah, twenty-four degrees. Correct. 24. Correct, beta. Each exterior is twenty-four. Twenty-four. Man, we didn't did this. We didn't did the second question of first bit. Hari, today my voice, I, what is that, Hari? I am unable to hear your voice. Why? Ma'am, we didn't do the second question of first bit. Okay, first bit. Okay, we did not complete. Okay, right, right. Second one, B. Huh. Sec B bit. Okay, yeah. this is uh, exterior angle. This is also exterior, exterior, exterior. Oh, they did not give exterior here. What is the... Expected exterior or else uh, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90 plus 60 plus 90 plus 70 plus x is equal to how much Harikarti? Mom, wait, I have to do it. Harikarti. Mom, wait, do it. 360 degrees. 360. Why it is 360? What is the property we are using here? Sum of all the exterior angles is 360 degrees in the convex. Yes, uh, it is a convex polygon. Sum of all exterior angles is nothing but 360. But here they did not the give in a 50, ma'am. The x value. 50 degrees. Okay, fine. Very good. That's all, Hari. Nothing new here. Uh, if any difficulties, we will discuss on the board. Or else, is it okay, children? Or else, can I discuss on the whiteboard? Ma'am, no need, ma'am. No need? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, coming to the question number three, how many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of exterior angle is 24? How many sides does a regular polygon have? 60 polygon? degrees divided by 24. 360 divided by 24. 24. 15 plus 15. 15 sides. 15, just, just before yeah. some, just the same, before some reverse they, they okay. gave. Yeah. Uh, next. How many sides does regular polygon have if measure of each exterior angle is 24? So each exterior angle is 24 what? means 360. Ma'am, each interior angles, angles. I gave interior Next. angles. Which one? Which question? Is ready question. For the one question number four. How many sides does a regular polygon have if each of its interior angles is 160. 24. So it is also very same beta. 165 plus what angle makes uh, 180. 180? You just 15. Yeah, it's 15 degrees, 15, right? 24. Uh, 360 by 15 is 24. 24. Once again, same question. These are all same children. Second bit of uh, second one, third bit, fourth bit, all are same, but different way of questioning. Questioning is only given differently. How many sides does regular polygon having if, we is, if each of its interior angle is 165? Now you can frame different questions based on the same concept. Hope you understood, children, how the questions are changed from second, third, and fourth, but concept is same. Right. Coming to the question number five. Is it possible to have a regular polygon with a measure of each exterior angle is 22? Is it possible? It's, you need to check whether it is 22 degrees is possible to have a regular? No, ma'am. So 360 divided by 22, you have to do. Is I'm it a whole possible. number? Or, is it not possible or possible? Is it a whole number? No, ma'am. Or decimal number? Decimal number. Decimal number. It's a, is the answer beta 11 8 180. So, huh, yeah, and we can directly check it, ma'am, because 36 is not divisible by 22. So, oh, very good. So, so it's, so, a, it's, not a, it's yeah, not, it's a not a whole number, it's not a whole number. Yes, if it is a whole number, we can say that it's not a whole number, right? Right, it's a maybe decimals. Decimal, uh, we cannot have such a polygon. So, that's why it is not possible, not possible as the 22 degrees as an exterior angle of a regular polygon. 
Ma'am, ma'am, it should not. It should. We should say that it's not a natural number because how can a polygon be uh, there which uh, has uh, zero degrees? <laughs> okay, anything you can uh, you can make the correction for us. Okay, it's not a whole number. Generally, we are okay. It's not a natural number, right? Next, can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon? Can it be an interior? Can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon? Why? Ma'am, we can check it by yes. exterior angles. We have to know the exterior angle and make it divide. I'm mean, like, and uh, may, uh, like. Uh -huh. Yes, what I is exterior angle? Yeah, interior angle is 22. 150 yes. degrees. So 158 is exterior. So if 150, 158 is uh, 360 divided by 158 is a whole number? No, ma'am. Oh, it's not. Ah, it's not a natural number. So it is. A, can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon? No. No. You can write your own. Justify the statement. They can ask you the questions, children. Every the concept is same. The questioning is different. That's all. Coming to question number six. What is the minimum interior angle? Minimum interior angle. The question you have to minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon. Ma'am, uh, sixty degrees. Why sixty degrees? Why can't? Uh... Ma'am, because because a regular polygon triangle is the uh, is the smallest regular polygon. Ah, that is also equilateral triangle, is it? Yeah. Regular polygon. So in equilateral triangle, what is the angle, children? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. So yeah, you can write it. The minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon is? Interior. They're not asking about exterior beta. You can see this is also very interior is 60. What is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? 60. 60 plus what oh, angle makes you 180? Man. 60 plus what angle makes you 180? So what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? 120. No, no, no. 60. I mean, it should be triangle, no? Since it asked this, no, okay, you can it's, it's, really, it's maybe it's a uh, record. What is the maximum exterior? I mean, it's a triangle only, beta. What is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? 120 yes, absolutely correct. The question both are same, beta. Only the thing uh, minimum they are taking here, minimum interior. So it's a 60. Exterior means 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees, right? There are different kinds of quadrilateral. What is the definition of quadrilateral, um, Hari? Ma'am, a polygon which has four sides. A polygon having four-sided polygon. Very good. Four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. What are the different quadrilaterals in our day-to-day uh, -day life we are uh, square, come across children? Square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, uh, rhombus. Yes, kite. any other? Kite. Kite, very kite. good, very good. Uh, square. Yeah. square, rectangle. And that's, what, that's all what we have. One minute, children. Any regarding any video is available. We will go through that. So that uh, ah, yes, rectangle square. <coughs> this are the <coughs> then. One minute, children. I'll give you a minute. So the table is easy for us to help you. One minute. Let me check the table is available. Okay. Okay. Anyway, textbook is first priority. Then we can go with uh, for remembrance purpose. We can uh, practice that. Uh, yeah. 
What is the trapezium? What is trapezium? This is a trapezium. These are not trapeziums. Why? Ma because what do you know about a trapezium? Because they don't have one pair of parallel lines. Yeah, only one pair of parallel sides. Parallel Anywhere lines. here you have parallel sides? No, ma'am. No, ma sorry, no. ma'am. In one in one uh, figure we have, but that is five sides. It has five it's sides. Not, it's not a quadrilateral. Ah, but it is a five-sided figure. Very good. We have one, but it is five-sided, but it's not okay. a trapezium. Very good. So coming to the example, if you see, there is a one pair of parallel sides. Here, next, second one also, there is a pair of parallel sides. Here we have a pair of parallel sides. There are the, so the trapezium is a quadrilateral with a, a pair of parallel sides. That's a very important. Children, uh, there is a, some arrows are marked. What is that arrow meaning, children? Ma'am, it says that parallel. they are parallel. Uh, that no. arrow indicates parallel lines, children. Please remember that arrow indicates um, parallel does always, lines. Does it always indicate? Is it officially made like that or only for this textbook? Exactly, exactly. Is it official Next. or only? Is it official? Like, can we use them in exams and for representation? What that, and for representing? We, and can we use these arrows officially, like for represent? Uh, representing some things if we create new things in mathematics or writing in exams. These lines. Parallel lines? Yeah. Can you use that? Exactly. Arrows? Yeah, that's why that's why we are doing some st steps. You just remember there are few steps like that. Uh, we are going with what is this simple simple symbol? Uh, here we are using for this you, showing uh, parallel uh, lines we we uh, draw two vertical lines. This is in place example, and this is in. Hmm. And what are those symbols? For example, L is parallel. Implies and implies. Means? There is implies means uh, based on that uh, stuff. We are connecting the next one. Okay, ma'am. See, there are two symbols you notify children. Let me draw that symbols because most of the kids are doing wrong. Some cases, suppose this is a rectangle shape. I can make this and this two. A rectangle means what do you know about rectangle children? Opposite sides are equal. If I'm keeping like that, what is the symbol for this? Both ma'am. Means two. Hmm? They are equal. What is the symbol? What is the why equal. I'm keeping? One length. These are Ma'am, lengths are equal. Mm -hmm. uh, lengths are equal. So suppose if A, B, C, D, which lengths are equal? A, B, B and B, C are equal and A, B and B, C are equal. Yes, A, D is equal to B, C. And uh, A, B is equal to D, D. D C. Uh, suppose if I'm writing like that, what does this mean? Uh, BC parallel, parallel to AD and AB parallel to DC. Yes, AB is parallel to BC. AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's a different children. Don't uh, confuse for that. Uh, so, uh, there is a clearly you can by looking only you can identify which are parallel, which are equal, which are. Uh, these are few things to remember. Now coming to the part of uh, trapezium, only one pair of parallel lines we can see in trapezium. That is only unique uh, point uh, to recognize uh, this is a parallelogram. Like that we can identify easily using the property like two, one pair of parallel sides. Now coming to do this, there is an activity you can see here. Take an identical cuts of your congruent triangles. All the time, congruent triangles, you can fold it and do it, children. Of sides, three meters, uh, three centimeters, four centimeters, five centimeters. Arrange them as shown. Uh, should they be a uh, uh, right angle triangle? Yeah, because they're telling about congruent triangles. 
identical no, congruent so triangles like, what if they are isosceles or equilateral can we make the parallelogram still okay uh, we can we can take make right angle triangle right angle right angle triangle and we can take any triangle right no any ma triangle what any... happens every triangle it yes ma'am it happens yes. for every triangle yes it happens but why we are taking here only oh, right angle pretty triangles pretty why ma'am to identical cutouts of congruent triangles of 3 cm 4 cm 5 cm can we call it as 3 4 5 is a pythagorean triplet yes ma'am so what is pythagorean triplet applicable for only right angle triangles yes or no yes ma'am ma so that's why here they put only the symbol as 90 degrees okay hope you understood okay right you can you can try it but why here particularly ma'am they're taking only right angle means the sides are taken as three four five three four five is a pythagorean triplet pythagorean means it's applicable for right angle triangles right now coming to the there is other question here uh, identical okay arrange them in as shown in figure uh, you got you get a trapezium you have to check it uh, which are parallel sides here should non-parallel sides are equal? You can see whether non-parallel sides are equal or not. What are non-parallel sides, children? By looking the figure, what are parallel sides? What are non-parallel sides? Uh, uh, parallel sides AB. are DC and AB. Non-parallel sides good. are AD and uh, BC. BC. Is it uh, both the uh, non-parallel sides are equal? No, no ma'am. No. If non-parallel sides are equal, there is a name for trapezium better. What is the name? Isosceles trapezium. The name is isosceles trapezium. Okay. If non-parallel sides are equal in length, we can call it as such a figure. Isosceles trapezium. And now coming to the next part. Ma'am, if we join three number of triangles, we get a trapezium in. If we join, if we adjoin odd number of triangles, we get a trapezium, and if we adjoin even number of triangles, we get a parallelogram. Absolutely, absolutely. Even you can notice in our figure also. Yes, you can notice in our figure. If I, you remove the last one, it's absolutely parallelogram. If you connect that one, it's a trapezium. Right. There is a point to discuss but, that also. Ma'am, but that doesn't apply for everything, ma'am. Because odd number can also include one. If you have one triangle, then it will be a triangle only. Except one. <laughs> exactly. Only exceptional case, that is. One is exception. Okay. Right. Right, children. There is a, uh, multiple things we are discussing. Nothing. You can you can express your opinion so that we can uh, we can build the generalized statement here now you can get uh, two more trapeziums using the same of same set of triangles find out uh, and discuss the shapes you can do as an activity children uh, this part and the next uh, second part is take out uh, four set squares uh, from your uh, in the classroom you can try it because uh, your alone uh, doesn't have four set squares with you in classroom, you and your uh, three more friends, you can together take your uh, uh, set squares from your uh, instrument box. Use different number. Place by place it by side by side and obtain the different trapeziums. Uh, if non-parallel sides of your trapezium are equal in length, we can call it as just now as we discussed isosceles trapezium. Did you get it at isosceles trapezium in any other, uh, uh, in any your investigation, give the above. You can please uh, play this uh, in your class or in your home or in your, uh, if you have four set squares, you can try it, children. You can try or else make as a four square, set squares, uh, what I can say, cardboard cutouts and you can play that. You can play that. If you have only one, you can cut uh, four uh, cardboard cutouts of your, uh, uh, set squares and uh, form differently how it looks uh, where you are getting an um, isosceles trapezium, where you are getting non isosceles trapeziums. You can uh, do an activity in summer holidays. You can uh, try such a thing. Now, coming to the kite shape. A second, we are discussing about the kite shape. 
There are few kites here, left side and right side. By looking only why it is not a kite, children, uh, there is uh, some kite, some are not uh, in kite. Shape. The first one is not a quadrilateral. Because the edge is, uh, it's not exactly connected. The edge is uh, cutted with one more line segment, connected with one more line segment. That's why it's not a uh, four-sided polygon. Also, absolutely, it is not. And and coming to the second one. Yeah, of the course, pair of sides, the pair of equal sides are not consecutive. Very good, very good. Because the kite is a special type of quadrilateral. It's a, why we can call it as a special type of kite. quadrilateral. Ma'am, in kite, uh, the the uh, diagonals make a perpendicular. Uh, are Very perpendicular good. That's okay. Bisect About the diagonals, we will. Yes, absolutely correct. The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors, not bisectors. The diagonals no, are not perpendicular. Bisectors. They are not bisectors. They are perpendicular to each other. That's all. And here. Adjacent sites are. What do you know? What do you know uh, about adjacent sites? And they share, say, uh, share, uh, they share a common point. Very good. They share, uh, share a common point. That's one thing. The sites with the same angle. The amount the yes. sites which make an angle. The lines which make an angle are adjacent. Yes. 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 What is the special point to notice the just before we discussed about a trapezium, ma'am, we have one pair of parallel signs based on that we can easily identify the trapezium. How you can identify the kite shape? Okay, it is four sided polygon. That's a general statement. A kite has four sides. And what is the other point we can say? Ma'am, when two distinct two. consecutive pairs of sides are of equal length. Ma'am, there are two Very pairs good. of uh, there are two pairs of parallel uh, sides. Consecutive sides. Okay. Consecutive pairs are equal in length. Yes or no? That's uh, consecutive means what we can call it as here adjacent sides. There are two adjacent. No, ma'am. If we say pairs. adjacent sides, also AD and DC also come into count, so we can't say adjacent. Okay, that's why we are going with consecutive word, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, even though AD and DC are also consecutive, no? AD and uh, DC is also consecutive, but different, distinct. The word they mentioned, the distinct, distinct is nothing but a different consecutive pairs, not same consecutive pairs. What are different, distinct, the word is mentioned, that's why. There are exactly two different consecutive pairs of sides are equal in length. Suppose different, so A, A, B, or else you can uh, just before as we discussed uh, the what the common vertex, common vertex is the point we can. So which is the common vertex for A, B and A, D? A. For B, C and C, D? C. C is the e. common vertex. That is one word, then one point we can. And why what is the word? Ma'am, uh, opposite, uh, uh, opposite vertices are uh, equal in angle? No, no. No. How you can say opposite are equal in angle? What, ma'am? It's not. What was the question no. you asked? Suppose A and C are opposite. Is it both are equal? Both A and C are equal here? No, ma'am. No. They are not equal. Only what what we can uh, take it as equal in length. So angle B should be equal to angle D. That's the only point you can notice. Angle we cannot say angle D. No, oh, angle B equal to angle D. That's the point we can say. We cannot write angle A equal to angle C. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Ma actually, angle A is equal to angle B, no, ma'am. No, no. The oh. AB, the length of AB equal to the length okay. of AD. Okay. Because the other side becomes an isosceles triangle. No, that is one. That if okay, one of the diagonal. If one of the diagonal, which diagonal is making a congruent triangles here? If you connect AC, the length of AC is a diagonal. That AC is uh, divides the kite into two congruent triangles. That is a children. This why it is more important. I'll help you. See, if I connect to AC, 
if I connect to AC, what happens? If I connect to BD, there is ABD triangle, BDC triangle are not same. If I connected the uh, diagonal as AC, what happens if you fold and see? ABC triangle is congruent to ADC triangle. Why? Which congruent yeah. rule we can apply here? Which congruent rule we can apply here? What, ma'am? Which congruent rule? Triangles we have, right? Which congruent rules, uh, rule we can apply? Yes, 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 uh, yes, RHS, there are multiple. So which congruent rule? If I connect AC as a diagonal, if I fold and make as a congruent triangle, as I said uh, one of the diagonals uh, divides this kite into a congruent triangle. Yeah. So, and because like angle ABC. D and angle D e are, are the common angles of two triangles. Angle? B and angle D are the common angles for two triangles. That's why I'm telling angle B should be equal to angle D beta. Why it is, uh, you can, you can see, let me go with uh, diagram because we need to discuss a lot about uh, this. Why kite shape is a very special shape? Is there any ready-made kite here? No. Not no. no, it's not a kite. Is there any any ready-made kite here? Please look. No, no ready-made kite. Okay. And if I take another big. Okay. If I connect this, I'll connect this with uh, some line segments. Sorry, children, it's uh, some part. You can, whenever you are free times, please uh, uh, practice such why it is, uh, kite is uh, congruent. So let me. Yes, can we call this as a kite? Yes or no? Hmm? Yes, ma'am, we need to. Mean. Huh. Suppose let me take, uh, there is another diagonal. I connected the diagonals. Hmm. Uh, what is the name of this uh, kite children? The name of the kite is PQRS or else A, B, C, D, anything you can. Either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Anti you can take any, any way children. Naming should be taken with them. So A, B, C, D. B. Now, what are diagonals, please? What are diagonals here? This side A, B is equal to B, C. B. And A, D is nothing B. but C, D. Because it is a height shape adjacent. Distinct consecutive sides are equal. So here, what we can, what, what are the diagonals? What are the diagonals? Diagonals are AC and BD. Which diagonal make the triangles into two congruent triangles? Suppose if which, which diagonal makes, Mom, which diagonal BD. make the kite into two congruent triangles BD, is it ac is it ac is a triangle can we write it as ac is a diagonal which divides the kite into two congruent triangles or bd which one bd ma'am bd which one children bd ma'am bd is the diagonal so if you cut this figure till along with the diagonal and you fold on uh, uh, ABC, ABD, it is exactly match the, exactly match. That means uh, C, 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 uh, this point should be meet it, uh, meet at A and this anyway, this length should be equal to this length. So if I fold uh, BC, BC should be exactly folded on AB 
And same way, if you take AD length, which is very similar to CD. So can we take this BD is a diagonal, which divides the kite into two congruent triangles, yes or no? That's why angle A is nothing but angle A is nothing but angle C. Why angle A is nothing but angle C, children? Ma'am, this both are... Because which congruent rule? Side, side, this is common side. Which congruent rule we are using? Side. Yes, 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 congruent rule. Side, 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 congruent. Because BD is a common side. AB is congruent to BC. AD is, is congruent to CD. And BD is a common side. Ma'am, ma'am, ma why can't AC be... Why can't AC... Uh, we make the two uh, triangles congruent, like ABC. That's why, see, this is very small length, length. This is big in length. Is these two are matched? Is this, if you fold like that, is these two triangles oh. are congruent? Is oh. it possible? Ma'am, because AB and a, uh, BC are if they are in same length, then no, if I fold, if I along this, along this, I cut and if I fold like that, if I fold like that, is it is this triangle is completely covers this triangle or not? Is it exactly matching? No. No, 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 no. no, that's why this is two are not congruent. The same figure, if you take, if I extend like that, sorry, if you take exactly. So if I divide like that, if this line. If I extend this line, if I cut and fold means, is it is it exactly matching this uh, triangle and this one, two triangles will be matched or not? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. That's why, that's why, why only one pair of uh, angles are equal means in this triangles only congruent rules will be applicable. Mm -hmm. So uh, three uh, side, side, side uh, congruent rule will be applicable here. That's why ultimately angles are also equal. So angle A is equal to angle C, not angle B and Day. Okay. Hope yeah. you understood, children. Hope you understood. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right, right. Why? Because uh, properties are directly connected with your geometry, theorems, and many things in your class 10 children. No? So please try to understand and uh, each and every point. Nothing to worry. Yeah, there is also they mentioned here how um, kite okay. is uh, folding an angle uh, kite opposite so that. Uh, Equal in measures. Observe the diagonal folds. Which diagonal fold makes the symmetrical part? You can you can uh, through activity also you can try it. That's about your kite. What are the kite properties, children? Can you please tell what are the kite properties uh, till now? It we is discussed a quadrilateral. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quadrilateral kite. Quadrilateral kite. Quadrilateral kite. It has a they have exactly two distinct uh, consecutive pairs of sides equal, equal in length. length. Uh, opposite angle, one pair of opposite angles are equal. Diagonals are bisecting each other. Diagonals are bisecting Bisect. each other. Is it bisecting or perpendicular? They are perpendicular. Ah, perpendicular. That's why, that's why it, they are not bisecting. They are perpendicular. They are perpendicular. They are not bisecting. They are perpendicular to each other. Yes, ma'am. But they are not bisecting each other. But one of the diagonal bisects the other one. Ah, one of the diagonal divides the, the kite into two congruent triangles. You can write that point. In kite, one of the diagonals divides the kite into two congruent triangles. Okay, ma'am. That's uh, children. Uh, we are going with the rest of the two tomorrow. Parallelogram is very easy. And there are a few bits about trapezium and uh, kite. Please go through that. There is no kite shape here. There is a trapezium. You can please uh, try the uh, ninth bit kite shape. We did not discuss a few more points. What are the adjacent? What about kite children? Kite, any other points, you know? What about adjacent angles?
In trapezium, what about adjacent angles? Adjacent angles, mom. Uh, trapezium, right? Yeah, in trapezium, what about adjacent angles? Please uh, go through the angles also, children. Next week, we will uh, do that part only based on that. Uh, there is a clear. Trapezium, adjacent angles are not always. What about uh, adjacent angles of a trapezium? They are not equal. Um, they are not equal. Anything makes supplementary there? Anything makes supplementary there? Ma'am, no, ma'am. Ma'am, the alternate sides. Yes, here you see, he explain how this figure is trapezium. By looking this figure, how it is trapezium. And NM, NM and KL are, uh, are parallel. Parallel, that's one point. What ML, about another point? ML and NK are not parallel. Yeah, adjacent angles also. Adjacent 100 M angle. M no, adjacent, adjacent angles, angles are equal. sum up to 100, 180. Very good, very good. Who gave this point? Excellent. That's I want that point, children. That's why I'm uh, continuously waiting for that point. Um, Adjacent the angles, the sum should be equal to 180. Ma'am, uh, if you look at K angle, K is acute angle, L is also acute angle. L, If K and L are uh, both uh, adjacent angles, then they don't add up to 180, right, ma'am? Ma'am, because uh, if both angles are acute angles, how will they sum up to 180? Which one, which one better? Which figure you are telling tenth, about? Which in 10th figure? figure, in 10th in question, uh, ah. figure 3.2. Figure 3.2. Yes, ma'am. Figure 3.27. Figure 3.26. Ah, 26. 100 plus 80. Based on that, you can adjacent angle is one, of, one pair of adjacent angles is 180, right? Ma'am, in 3.28, then 130 degrees plus 90 degrees is... Uh, more than 180 degrees, right? Where my, I did not notice. Acute and obtuse, right? Acute and obtuse. Oh, you are telling about here, this is more than 90, ma'am. How you can take it as a... Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. That's about... Okay. Maybe there is a rule, one pair is a supplementary, ma'am. Okay. See, this is 90, this is 130. In this case, yes, no, no, in this case, of course, parallelogram. This is, you have to see, explain how this uh, figure is a trapezium, which two sides are parallel. Is it a trapezium, children? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you said adjacent. Which adjacent two sides are parallel here? Uh, adjacent sides um, are supplementary. No, what about adjacent sides? 130 plus 90. 130 plus 90 is 220. Is that's it possible? To, is it possible to make a trapezium with this? No. Ma'am, that's not even belonging to the tenth question. Ma'am, that belongs to the twelfth question. Ma'am, but still, no, general, if it is a general trapezium, discussion. Okay, of course it, it belongs to that uh, general discussion. Is it possible to form a ma trapezium? Ma'am, it's not even. Ma'am, it's not even trapezium. It, it does. Very it is, good. It's not even trapezium. By looking only, you can say better. One thirty plus ninety makes. Uh, it's not one eighty. Absolutely correct. Right. Ma right. The, so maybe the figure belongs to the question number twelve. 3.8. Okay, question number 8. In this case, only possible. So, here we don't know about the rest of the part. This... Maybe I just. Yeah, please, please. Ma'am, in question, this, uh, ex, this uh, figure 3.28, it belongs to question number 12, ma'am. They are already, already no, telling no. that. No, listen, listen to the part. They mentioned the conditions are given. For 10th bit, explain how it is trapezium. So adjacent sum should be supplementary. So 100 plus 80 is supplementary. You can write directly. Coming to the 11th bit regarding to 3.27, measure of angle C is given. What is me measure of angle C? We don't know. We should find out. We know angle B. Angle B is 120. 120 plus what angle makes you 180? 60. 60. 
But they also no. mentioned AB and DC are parallel. Parallel means one pair of parallel sides. Trapezium means one pair of parallel sides. Absolutely, it is correct. Ma'am, so 120 plus 60. Yeah. Ma'am, even 12th question also. Figure 3.8. Uh, Q angle is 130 degrees and R angle is 90 degrees. And they also mentioned that SP uh, uh, SP is parallel to RQ. Then why is 130 degrees and 90 degrees their adjacent angles, ma'am? So even if, if you find measure of R, is the more than one method to find measure of angle P, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so... Uh, this R uh, angle. So of it's course, 90 R is 90. 90. You just listen. R is 90. 130 plus what angle makes you 180 here? Of course, 130 plus what okay. angle makes you 180 here? 50. 50. 50 plus obviously, what is the angle? Yes, measure of S? 90, 90 degrees. 90 degrees only you can find in that way also. They, they mentioned, you see, there are multiple ways. Not only don't, don't go in a straight way. Uh, multiple ways you have to think. Find the measure of angle P and angle S. P and S you should calculate. Ma'am, but the the measure of uh, the total measure of all sides in a in a in a quadrilateral it will sum up to three sixty degrees, right, ma'am? Exactly true. Based on the ma property also you can. Huh? So R R is ninety degrees. S is ninety degrees. That will give it one eighty degrees. Ah, uh, one eighty plus one thirty. 180 plus 130 is uh, 280 plus uh, 310. Obviously, angle B is how much measure of P? 50. 50. 50. 50 only. If you find 50. out in that way also, you will get the same. Okay, ma'am. Okay. You, you can use ASP, uh, angle sum property of a quadrilateral, or you can use adjacent sum of adjacent angles. It should be supplementary. Based on that, directly you can find the value of P. Ma'am, one last doubt, ma'am. Ma'am, last doubt. Ma Which angle, one more, please? Ma'am, the same only. Angle S and angle R, they're adjacent and they sum up to hmm. 180 degrees. Angle yeah, Q absolutely. And angle Q and angle P, they're adjacent and they sum up to 180. 180. Angle huh. Q and angle R, they do not sum up to 180, but they're adjacent, right, ma'am? <laughs> then is it parallel? Is it parallel? You see, there is a condition also. What is the condition we can observe? You can observe the condition too. Is it parallel? Non-parallel? Which one? You see, is it parallel lines? You see this example or this example, anything example. One pair, if your condition is uh, particularly here, it is mentioned. So this part is maybe it's 180, this together 180. So here what we can take uh, angle P plus angle Q is 180 degrees. Angle S plus angle R is 180 degrees. Same way you can go with this as uh, angle uh, B and B and B and C are 180 degrees. B and C are 180 degrees. A and D are a and, a and D are 180 degrees. Right. That's all. Thank you, ma'am. You can check the condition of parallel sides also, ma'am. Uh, next Thank class in detail, we'll discuss children. Uh, we are, please go through about uh, trapezium and the parallel kite shape. Uh, next class, we will go with uh, the properties once again, uh, recollecting the points about the parallelogram, sorry, not parallelogram, kite and trapezium. Then we will go with uh, what other shapes we have, parallelogram, uh, rectangle. This rectangle and square, you know very well, children. Only we are discussing about a parallelogram and a parallelogram and what is this? Rhombus. 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 Okay, ma'am. Thank you. For okay, me. that's all for the day, children. Bye. Have a bye. nice day, children. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, bye, children. Have a nice day. Bye,